In version 24.2 of After Effects and above, you can now have video previews of motion graphics templates that you design, and I know a ton of you have been waiting for this. So let's jump in and take a look. If you're new to motion graphics templates in the world of Premiere Pro, here is a mini lesson for you. Take it away, Professor Gal. A motion graphics template is called Mogit because the file extension is .mogrt. You can purchase Mogits from somebody else, or if you have the proper skills, you can design them yourself. A Mogit can be anything that you imagine. For example, if you need this strange, fishing logo opener, there's a Mogit for that. Or maybe you need a very cool old-fashioned printed design, there's a Mogit for that too. Basically anything you can imagine, there's a Mogit for it. Essentially, it's a mighty piece of motion design that you can import into Premiere Pro's Essential Graphics panel. From there, you can drag and drop it into your timeline and further customize to your needs. Mogits save you time and money because you don't necessarily need to design them yourself. And they live inside of your essential graphics panel forever, whether you like it or not. Well, you can delete them if you like. And that concludes our segment on Mogits for Dummies. Hopefully it was useful. Back to you, gal. So here in Premiere Pro, when you open up the Essential Graphics panel, you get a preview of what your Mogurts look like when you import them. If I hover over these, you'll notice that it's just a static image. Not all of them have a video preview, but if I scroll down, that this one has an animated preview, but this is an older one that was designed in Premiere Pro, so it has those video previews. Basically, there's just no consistency, right? There's either a photo preview, there's an animated preview, or sometimes there's nothing there, and we want it to be consistent. So going forward from After Effects, you'll get that video preview and you'll learn how to do that in just a moment. Now I do make some Mogurts myself and I can say that, you know, I'm pretty good at it. But when it comes to more complex designs, this is where I turn to more advanced After Effects templates from Motion Array. Now Motion Array has some of the best well-designed After Effects templates and they're modern and they always have new ones to browse. You can see that as we browse here, there's pretty much an unlimited supply of beautiful After Effects templates to choose from. And if you're just starting out, you can get a free plan first and browse for free assets right here from the page. I really like this classic 3D collection. Definitely something I wouldn't be able to make on my own. And they also have these different openers that you can use, like for a YouTube opener, they're animated. You get unlimited downloads here, which is just great. So if you just want to try out some of these without paying for a plan, you can browse by free assets here, and all of these are free to download with an account, which is awesome. Who doesn't like free? And I've dropped a link just down below if you want to try out a free plan to get access to these. Motion Array did reach out and they sponsored today's video, so thanks so much to Motion Array. So now let's show you about the video previews and how to edit an After Effects template and turn it into a Mogurt. So I like this After Effects branding package from Motion Ray. So I'm going to download this and we're going to turn it into a motion graphics template because right now it's just an After Effects file. So let's go ahead and download this. So as part of this branding package inside of After Effects, there are multiple titles here, but let's just turn the first one into a motion graphics template. So this is its own composition for this first one. So let's pre-compose this. Let's go up to layer and pre-compose. And let's double click to open this up. So now we have our own nested comp. That's what we call it in Premiere Pro, but they call it pre-compose and After Effects. And now what we can do is go up to window and go to essential graphics because After Effects also has an essential graphics panel, which is where you build your Mogurt. And now we need to select the composition that contains the asset that we want to turn into a Mogurt. So in this case, it's this one. It's this SIF title loop 01 comp 1. So we can go to composition. You can see that there's a ton here because this is a massive template. So let's go down to SIF title loop 01 comp. We can start it off by giving it a name and now we can start to add elements here that we want to edit. So let's add editable text here. So to do that quickly, we can go over here to the templates text folder, go to the edit title loops because we're editing one of the loops here. Let's open up edit SIF title loop 01. 
and you'll see that there is a text element here. If we open that up underneath text, there's source text. So we can drag the source text here into our central graphics panel. And now we can just call this edit text, for example, and we can update this text to anything. For example, we can call it Premiere Gal. And you'll notice that it's cut off in the composition here. We need to resize this. So we can go down here to transform and we can add position and scale. So now we can scale this down so it fits into frame. And we have the position controls in case we need to move it up or down or left to right. Another thing, if I push this over, you can see it here, edit properties. If you want to be able to enable custom font selections, if you wanna change the font, the font size adjustment, as well as faux styles, of course. So you have these options here. That's for the text, but we can also add some color stuff. If we go back to the main comp here we're working with and double click to open up another comp that has another comp inside. But what we can do is go up to edit title loop 01 controls and we can go to effects. And here's a lot of cool things that are built inside of the template. For example, a checkbox for the sticker. So we can drag this up and turn it on. And now it has the sticker element around it. We can also have it choose background. So there's actually a menu that you can drag up. So you can choose it to have texture A background, for example, texture B, some wild backgrounds here, or just turn it off. When we have choose background color solid, we can now change this color to be anything like a, a yellow color. And if this is turned off, Remember, if we turn on transparency, you will see that it's transparent. That is how we built our MoGrid, right? So now we can go to export motion graphics template here. First, save it, which is important. So we can just save this. We'll just call this V2, save. And then we wanna save it to our local templates folder if we want it to appear in Premiere Pro right away. But if you wanna share this with you know, a client or another editor, save it to your local drive and just upload it to Dropbox or something and share it with them. So here is the big update, which is include video preview. There's a couple other things that you can check. For example, warn me if After Effects needs to be installed in order to customize this Mogurt. Some Mogurts do require it. In this case, you don't need it installed. So you can share this with somebody that doesn't have After Effects which is nice. And now there's this new step where it actually needs to encode a video preview. So this can take like a minute or so. So I'll see you back in Premiere. It's done. Let's open up Premiere Pro and here it is automatically. And now you can see that there's the video preview, which is just fantastic. So you can drag and drop this into your timeline now. And now you can see that the controls that we added in After Effects are over here on the edit tab from editing the text to the text properties, the position scale in the background and background color, which is just pretty cool. In addition to video preview, you also got a lesson on kind of how to turn an After Effects template project or your own design into a Mogurt. It's also important to note that on Motion Array, there are a ton of Mogurts in the Mogurt category. So you can scroll through these to check out some of their high quality Mogurts that they have here directly in their collection. But it's important to note that not all of them have video previews because most of them were designed with a previous version of After Effects, which didn't have the video preview. But if you wanna have video previews for the Smogurts, I have a workaround for you. Let's download this sticker tag title Mogurt. So it's downloaded. Over here, we can click on Mogurt and you can see it's .mogrt. There's no After Effects project, but if you go into After Effects, you can open up a Mogurt. So we can go to File, Open Project. We can save this one. And instead we can go into the sticker tag Mogurt and open up the actual .mogrt file. And this will ask you to extract it as an After Effects project. So we can just save it in here, Extract hit OK, and here we go. And you'll notice that over here in Essential Graphics, there's already all of these parameters added. So all we need to do is simply export Motion Graphics Template. 
And this time we can include a video preview. And as this is exporting, if we go into Premiere Pro, go to Browse, you can see that if we import the Mogart itself, just by dragging and dropping it, very easy, this is just a photo here. It's not a video preview. But if we wait while this is exporting, we will see that once it's done, it'll automatically show up here with an animated preview. And just like that, here it is, the new version with the animating preview. Now, unfortunately, there's not a bulk way that you can go through all of your older Mogarts and add a video preview, but you can certainly open up your Mogarts and After Effects just like I did and export a new one with a video preview if you have the time and you want to have a nicely designed a browse tab in your essential graphics panel. So if you're a motion designer that sells Mogerts, you can start using this video preview and you'll definitely have happy customers. And if you're interested in trying out Motion Array for yourself, I've dropped my affiliate link just down below. If you use that link, it helps support the channel. And if you're wondering about the difference between Motion Array and other unlimited motion template marketplaces, you can watch this video right over here. And if this video helped you out, you can click right over here to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, keep creating better video with Gal. See you next time. Bye. Ooh.